Welcome back, everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Well, we all got to enjoy win number seven in a row for the Edmonton Oilers last night, a 3-1 to one victory over the Ottawa Senators. And for the first time this season, the Edmonton Oilers got to go to bed and wake up in the morning in a playoff spot. Following their 3-1 to one victory over the Ottawa Senators, the Oilers secured the second wildcard position, at least for now. The Nashville Predators have a four-point lead for the first wild card, and the Oilers are in a three-way tie with the Blues and Kraken, but have games in hand on both teams. The Coyotes remain close as well, only one point behind and one game ahead in games played. Overall in the Pacific Division, the Oilers sit in fourth place, five points back of the third-place LA Kings, who have a game in hand. Vegas is ten points ahead, and the Canucks are in first, with a 12-point lead on the Oilers. It's been a dramatic turnaround, and a lot of the credit can go to head coach Chris Knobloch. Since he took over, the Oilers have a record of 19-6-0, have a plus-32 goal differential, tied for the best in the NHL. Knobloch is also the first coach in NHL history, with two seven-game win streaks in his first 25 games coached. Zach Hyman has been another hero for the Oilers, in my opinion, the most complete all-around player the Oilers have. Prior to being an Oiler, Hyman had a career high of 21 goals. He currently has 25 goals in 35 games, including three hat-tricks on the year. He's just the second Oiler in the last 30 years to record three in a single season, aside from Connor McDavid, who has done it twice. He's currently on pace for 58 goals. Without a doubt, Hyman should be voted in as an All-Star. Stuart Skinner also deserves praise, currently on a 12-2 run over his last 14 games. Prior to last night, boasting a 2.07 goals against average and a 9.23 save percentage. Connor McDavid, as always, a force, 8 goals and 30 assists in his last 18 games played, and just overall, the lines of Nuge, Connor and Hyman, and McLeod, Drysdale and Fogel have been drivers for the team's success. Praise must also be sent to defense coach Paul Coffey. All 6D have raised their game under his lead, and offensively, Bouchard has 21 points in his last 18 games. Next up, the Chicago Blackhawks, with no Connor Bedard in the lineup. The Oilers look for win number 8 in a row, 3 away from the team record. The boys are rolling, everything's clicking, win number 8, potentially on the horizon on Tuesday against the Chicago Blackhawks. Like I said, no Connor Bedard, 3 wins away from the 10-win team record. The Oilers are oh so close, but as I've been saying, let's take it one day, one win at a time, and hopefully the boys can get there. Let me know your thoughts on the season so far, on the massive turnaround for the team. Who's really stood out to you? Let me know in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.